Today's video is a Primark haul. One bag. Two bag. I went twice. I will start with the big bag because that's when I went the first time. And I'm just going to delve in and show you what I got. I don't go to Primark very often. It's kind of the other side of Cambridge from where I work. So it takes a little while to walk over and you just can't be bothered because it's really busy. And yeah. But after I went on my day off, I decided... I saw a few things that I wanted to go back and get, so I went back, yeah, and got more. But I will start with the first things that I've got, I'm going to go straight in, starting with really exciting things, cosmetic pads, whoop, 90p though, for all of these, you can't say no to that, and they actually look pretty good, I've never used their cosmetic pads, so I don't know if they are good, but they look good, so we will try them. I'll just throw those on the floor. I've got their sale on at the minute, so to be fair, I didn't actually buy that many clothes. In the whole two times I went, I bought two items of clothing. But the first thing is just this, which is just a really basic v-neck t-shirt. Extremely see-through, so we'll probably be wearing this to bed. <laughs> or with maybe like a sports bra underneath it or something to work out in, because it's really, really lightweight, so perfect for that. But yeah, two pounds can't really say no to that. They have it in loads of colours as well if you wanted to pop in and have a look. I'm just drawn to greys and black. They just go with anything so I tend to pick those up. Let's put that on the block. I'm kind of obsessed with pyjamas but I don't have very many so I wanted to pick up some more and Primark is the perfect place to go for pyjamas. They always have really cute ones so I picked up these which are Winnie the Pooh print. Winnie the Pooh print! Can you see? And it's like is that upside down? No, kind of. We'll show you down here, look. It's like the original drawings, they're really, really cute. And then the t-shirt's got like a little bit of colour on. So cute, and only £10. Don't actually know what the trousers are like yet though, I don't know if they're like elasticated bottoms or not. Ah, they're not, really cute. I went in to look for some thumper ones that they, they um, put on Instagram, but I Primark is pretty rubbish and never has much so they didn't have the thump ones and a lot of the other Disney pyjamas they only had in like the really big sizes so um, large is an extra large and I am neither of those I could probably get away with a medium but definitely not a large or an extra large but they had the Winnie the Pooh ones in a small so I thought it was fate so I bought the Winnie the Pooh ones then I picked up a set of rings like gem rings now I don't really wear a lot of other rings, there is a hair in my eye. I don't really wear a lot of um, other rings, so I've just got my grandma's ring. And also a lot of like costume jewellery doesn't really go with this ring. But I saw these and I really think they will. They've kind of set them out for each hand, but my fingers are ridiculously small and they don't do extra small in their rings, just to small. So I'm going to have to find fingers for them to fit. But they go with this. Um, so I'm really excited to wear these and I wanted to start wearing like multiple rings on my fingers Love how that looks so that's what I'm gonna start doing and I just really really like these they're so cute These two are my favorite Definitely my favorite and again two pound fifty and I've got what eight rings Pretty excited about that also these tiny ones will hopefully fit on my pinky finger and I really like pinky finger rings I think they look really cute so I picked up those. This is the thing with Primark, you end up spending more than you plan to because you're like, oh, it's only two pounds. Oh, it's only two pound 50. Wow, that's only a tenner. And you spend way more than you plan on. The thing that I was most excited about was I had been informed that they have a unicorn bed set. Now their bed sets are very cheap. So I got it. It was 11 pounds for a double bed sheet. That's very cheap. I will try and do a close up of the picture so you can see what they actually look like. But look at the unicorns and there's ice creams on it and flowers and it's pastel colours and it's white and it's just all of my favourite things round into one. Also, the underneath bit is the same as the bottom sheet that I got last time I went in. So, meant to be, I think so. And for £11, bargain unicorn bed sheets. And then we carry on with the unicorn theme and I got some unicorn socks. So we've got one that says be yourself or unicorn. Unicorns have more fun and just a unicorn. Does this say anything? No, it's just unicorns with stars on. And I thought it'd be really cute because I tend to wear my Converse on my Adidas trainers. So I thought these glitter bit at the top would stick out and it would look adorable and I'm obsessed with unicorns right now and I just think they're really cute and I really needed some new socks. Hair in my eye. Again, £2.50. Can't really go wrong. And they're actually, re they're really thick, so I feel like they're going to be extremely warm in the winter. That was my first trip to Primark. Then I decided to go again. I actually went again to pick up a set of pyjamas that I saw previously, the last time I went, but didn't buy, and then decided that I really wanted to buy them. And I'll show you those first. I think these are one of my favourite things. They have cacti on them, like a lot of cactuses. Then it says, wait for it. 
free hugs how cute is that and then the shorts I fell in love with because they're just extremely bright and have cactuses all over them cacti however you want to say it cactuses or cacti and then a really cute grey and pink ribbon which sold me and they were only five pounds and I really like the back of these it's like a razor back um but it's got like a knot on it I really like them. Then I picked up a jumper, which I'd seen before in cream, but then when I went back, I saw it in this color and I couldn't resist it. So it's this jumper and it's a little cropped jumper and it's got, what would you call that? A zigzag lie, hemline on the bottom. It's a cropped jumper, so it sits right where your high-waisted jeans would sit, but it's long sleeves and it's in this absolutely beautiful, like, duck egg blue colour. I love it. And I feel like this is perfect for like your English summer, spring, autumn, whatever. Because it doesn't get amazingly hot and if it does, then fine, I won't wear it. But if, if it's a normal England summer, then this will be fine because it's cropped so you're still going to get a bit of air and you're not going to get too hot. But it will keep me slightly warmer when it gets colder in the evenings and I'm just kind of in love with it and it was £10. After seeing Alice's video, her Primark makeup like trials, I saw her liquid, the liquid matte lipsticks and I really wanted to try one so I picked one up and I got it in the, um, what colour would you call this, like lushy pink, like rosy pink kind of colour. Super excited to try this actually, I haven't tried it yet but the applicator is huge, it's ginormous, it's like could do both lips at the same time. I do have a small mouth though, so that's possibly why. But yeah, I'm excited to try this. And again, I think it was £2. So even if I don't like it, not the end of the world. It's £2. They had a lot of colour options in them as well. So if I like this, I may go back and get... There's a really dark red that they've got. So I might go back and get that one if I like this one. Lastly, obviously with it being August in the middle of summer, they've decided that it's the perfect time to bring out their autumn and winter clothes. So I bought a bubble hat. <laughs> got the grey one with the white bubble on top, they've got loads of different colour options there but I decided to go for grey and white because I don't have a grey bubble hat and grey bubble hats will just go with everything so you can't really go wrong and again £2, there is a burgundy one in there that I really liked and they've also got a pale one that's got like a pale pink, pale blue, like pastel colours in it I'm tempted to go and get that one as well how many hats do you need? because I want all of them not gonna lie, I'm prepared for winter now with my bubble hat that's everything that I bought from Primark. Is there anyone else like me and they don't really go to Primark very often, but when they do, they walk around and they're like, why don't I come here before I go and try and buy things from, say, Topshop or other ridiculously expensive places that you could buy 10 items for the price of one from there. And so um, I repeat myself and I say, I need to shop in Primark more often. To be fair, their homeware is probably one of my favourite parts of Primark. I'm not a massive fan of their clothes, I find their clothes quite hit and miss. I don't really buy their clothes very often, hence like a t-shirt and a jumper, but their pyjamas and their homeware are like the bomb. I love them. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I uh, picked up from Primark. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments below what's the last thing that you purchased from Primark. That's the question of this video. What was the last thing you got from Primark? I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye! Does anyone else's hair do this? Like when they put it up in a ponytail, they've got one side of the ponytail that's really short and one side of the ponytail that's long. Drives me nuts.